Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Ticket. In today's video, we have some amazing news for Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and Note 10 owners. We now have the massive One UI 2.5 update that is being deployed to the Note 10s, which brings many new features. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys 25 plus new features that get dumped onto your Note 10 via this One UI 2.5 update. So let's dive in. Now, first real quick, I'm gonna simply go into my software information screen. And as you can see now, we have One UI 2.5 with Android 10 running on the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, the first feature I'm gonna talk about is a massive feature. Basically, we now have the wireless DeX functionality. So it's gonna be in your control panel. So if you swipe over, maybe it's in the first screen, maybe the second screen, but you're gonna see that little uh, DeX symbol. And basically when you tap on it, it goes into the Samsung DeX utility from where if you have any smart TV in your house, it's gonna show up right here. It has to be a smart TV and then you tap it and it simply projects the Samsung DeX interface onto that TV. That is a feature a lot of people have been waiting for. So that's number one, let's move on to number two. All right, so here's a quick demonstration of wireless decks. Here's a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and there's the high definition TV, that's a smart TV. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the notifications panel down, okay? And as you can see, I'm just going to tap on the DeX button here, and that's gonna start searching for all the smart TVs so I'm gonna tap on the one that appears in the list, which is this one right here. As soon as I do that, it's gonna give me the option to start now. I'm gonna tap, okay, let's see what happens. All right, takes a couple seconds here. And as you can see, something is happening on the TV. We have the Samsung DeX functionality. Here's the phone, okay, and here's the TV. I now have a full-fledged computer on the TV. Now the next feature we have is also a keyboard feature. So I'm gonna bring up the keyboard in any environment. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on my settings. It's gonna to go to the settings. And what you can do now is you can go to style and layout off the keyboard. And what you can do is you can go to modes option. And what that's gonna allow you to do is you can actually now pick a split keyboard when you are in the landscape view. So the split keyboard is gonna make it a little bit easy for some people to actually type it in when you have uh, the keyboard like this. When you go to the landscape orientation, it's gonna be easy to hold the phone and type with two fingers, no problem. So that's another new feature. And of course, if I go back to my settings, you can customize that further based on your needs. So when you're in portrait mode, you can choose which kind of keyboard you want. When you're in landscape mode, you can choose which kind of keyboard you want. So that is fantastic. So one great update has to do with the edge panel. So we have some enhancements with the edge panels. So let me bring up my panel. I'm talking about the apps panel. So with the apps panel now, you don't have a limit of 10 applications per screen. I can add up to 21 applications to my app drawer here. If I go to my edit button here, I can add so many more, as you can see. Let me just keep adding till we get a limit, and I'll tell you what that limit is. So I can add 22 apps at a time into my Edge panel, which is great. On top of that, on the top corner, what I have, what I have is I have my frequently accessed applications. These apps here dynamically change based on which application you're using more than the others. And at the bottom, I've got all the other 22 applications. On top of that, I can tap this button and I can access all my applications right from here. That's just fantastic. I can even search for a specific application just from the edge panel. So instead of swiping up, go to my app drawer, I can do it from here as well, just like that. Fantastic. We also have a great multitasking enhancement. So let me go over here. Let me just launch my multitasking. Let's grab settings. Let's launch settings first and foremost. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the calendar, okay? I'm gonna swipe it here, and now I have a multitasking window. Now we have a blue bar here. I can tap this bar, switch these over if I want, okay? Oops, I just tapped on that by mistake. Tap over here, switch it over, okay? The other thing I can do is I have settings and calendar right here. I can tap on plus, and what it does is it, it creates an app pair 
and dumps it into your uh, edge panel right here, the app screen edge panel. So that's an app pair of calendar and settings. So if I were to exit all these applications, let me kill all the applications. Let's say I wanna quickly launch those two applications. I have my app pair, tap it, boom. All right, you can do that with any application that supports multitasking and swipe away when you're done, all right? Brand new feature. And of course, we have some really huge updates to the actual camera, uh, bringing up the value of this phone even higher. So let's go to the camera, and the brand new thing that we have is if you go to more, okay, you are gonna have the pro video mode. So the interface for the pro video mode has changed, and first thing we have on the top here is we have the histogram. So if you wanna use a histogram while you are recording a video, you are gonna get that right over here. You simply tap this on and off, and it's gonna activate or deactivate uh, the histogram. Number two, on the top corner, it now actually tells you what is the current definition and the frame rates for that particular recording session. So in this case, this is full high definition, which is 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now, if I went to my settings, and if I went to pro video size, which is also the, uh, another brand new option, and I were to switch over to another resolution, let's just pick this one as an example. Now, when I go back outside, you'll notice it now says UHD, which is Ultra HD 4K at 60 frames per second. So you get that symbol on the top, which tells you exactly what you're doing. And of course, you can see another obvious thing is we have a microphone meter here. So as I'm talking, it is showing me the levels of the microphone on the side right here. Again, great for professionals. Now on top of that, if I tap on this Omni button, which is also brand new, you can now choose to use whatever microphone you please. You can use the omnidirectional microphone, which is all over the camera, or you can just use the front-facing microphone uh, on the camera, or you can simply use the rear-facing microphone if that's what you want. And as you tap on them, it tells you which one is best for what kind of capturing, as you can see right here. And of course, if you were to connect a USB microphone or a Bluetooth microphone, which could even be your Galaxy earbuds, you can use those as microphones to record a video. Another great feature. On the top here, it gives you all these various options. We have a brand new aspect ratio. Again, if I go to the settings, and if I go to the pro video size, we have this new aspect ratio in which we can now record in the pro video mode, and we can pick all these various resolutions. So we do get a big set of updates for the actual camera with this One UI 2.5. We also have something over here. If I go to my single take option, I can now tap a button here and change how long I want my single take option to capture stuff. So I can go from five seconds, six, seven, all the way up to uh, 15. You can pick any number in between for your single take uh, customization. All right, so those are all the camera updates. Let's move on. Now we do have some changes to our always on display. So let me go to my settings, okay? I'm gonna go into my lock screen. I'm gonna go into my always on options here. And then when you go for the clock style, what you are gonna see all the way at the, at the end, I'm sorry, not the end, actually right over here where you see the rabbit symbol, you tap on the rabbit and you have the option to pick a Bitmoji as you're always on screen. And then from here you can tap on Bitmoji and you can select any one of these characters. And of course this character is gonna base on what you created for yourself via the Bitmoji application. So again, you have all these options. I can have this on the actual screen. I can tap on done. If I turn off the screen, okay. Now if I double tap, actually single tap, I'm gonna see my Bitmoji right there in the background, okay? So that's brand new with the, with the always on display, the Bitmoji integration. Let's move on. Now we do have some brand new Wi-Fi options. So let me, so let me go to my Wi-Fi settings real quick. I'm gonna go right over here. I'm gonna go over here, go into my Wi-Fi, press and hold, takes me to the settings. For, so with One UI 2.5, based on where you are, uh, if you, when your phone senses connections, it will actually label them as fast and very fast or normal connections. So you are gonna be able to, maybe if you're in a public location, pick the fastest option you want just by visually looking at that 
Wi-Fi connection, that access point. And also, let's say you do want to connect to a Wi-Fi. Let's just pick this Wi-Fi here. And let's say that you're in your friend's house and your friend is a contact, uh, an added contact on your Samsung phone. What you are going to be able to do is you're going to see an option at the bottom here that is going to say request password. And your friend can simply tap on approve. And then even without having to tell you the password or you entering the password, you can just request it and log in right away super quickly. So that's going to be a new One UI 2.5 option as well. Now One UI 2.5 makes importing and signing PDF files so easy. Let me show it to you. All you do is you launch your notes application. Okay. Notes application. You go inside and now you have a brand new button here. You tap on it. It's going to bring up your my files application. Let's just pick a PDF so I can choose the file that I want to use. I'm going to tap on done. Let me grab my S Pen right here. All right. So what I can do is I can easily sign uh, anywhere on this PDF. I can literally just zoom in anywhere that I want. Let's say there was a signature area here. I can just sign there or I can draw there. I can also change the size of the pen. Okay, there we go. Make it little and I can do drawings, you know, taking notes, X's, check marks. What are we gonna do? It's so easy with the PDF files. Once you're done, you just share this, save it, whatever you wanna do. So that's great. We also have another great feature for the Samsung Notes application with One UI 2.5. So I'm going to go and create a brand new note right here. Okay, so let's say I'm in the classroom and the teacher is talking and I'm taking notes as the teacher is talking. So what I can do now is I can tap on attachments. Okay, let's say the class just started. The teacher start talking. I tap on voice recordings. So now it's recording the teacher and I'm taking notes. Check, check. Let me just tap here. Uh, let me get a pen. All right, so tap, check, 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 check. So I'm going to press on stop. The class is over. Now, the crazy part is if I were to go back, let me just save this note. If I go back to this note, okay, and if I tap on play, what plays in the background is going to sync with the actual notes. Let me show you what it is. So it's playing right now. Look at that. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. Okay, so the voice and the note taking synchronizes with itself. This is going to be great for meetings and classroom. And of course, another great feature is if you tap on this button, now you have folders. So you can have folders within folders, within folders as you please. Uh, previously, it was just categories. Now, if I tap on manage folders, as you can see, under folders, I have all these guys under quotes. I can have different names under work. I can have different scripts for whatever I'm doing, and I can add folders as I desire. So now I have the managed folder option as opposed to categories, much more organizable with this option. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. The Samsung One UI 2.5 update for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. This is an unlocked version. Some people got it before, some people are getting it now, and some people would get it very soon. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.